This is the 2009 Key Stage 3 Mental Mathematics Test A. Listen carefully to the instructions I'm going to give you. After I've finished reading them, there will be time for you to ask any questions you might have. However, you will not be able to ask any questions once the test has begun. I will start by reading a practice question. Then I'm going to ask you 30 questions for the test. On your sheet there is an answer box for each question, where you should write the answer to the question and nothing else. You should work out the answer to each question in your head, but you may jot things down outside the answer box if this helps you. Do not try to write down your calculations, because this will waste time and you may miss the next question. For some of the questions, important information is already written down for you on the sheet. I will read out each question twice. Listen carefully both times. You will then have time to work out your answer. If you cannot work out an answer, put a cross in the answer box. If you make a mistake, cross out the wrong answer and write the correct answer next to it. There are some easy and some harder questions, so don't be put off if you cannot answer a question. The recording will now be stopped so that you can ask any questions you might have. Here is the practice question to show you what to do. I will read the question twice and you will have five seconds to work out the answer and write it in the answer box. Double the number on your answer sheet. Double the number on your answer sheet. Now put down your pen or pencil. Now we are ready to start the test. For the first group of questions, you will have five seconds to work out each answer and write it down. Question 1. How many meters are 600 centimeters? How many meters are 600 centimeters? Question 2. Subtract 36 from 200. Subtract 36 from 200. Question 3. Write in figures the number 10,010. Write in figures the number 10,010. Question 4. Look at the numbers on your answer sheet. Add them. Look at the numbers on your answer sheet. Add them. Question 5. Look at the number on your answer sheet. Round it to two decimal places. Look at the number on your answer sheet. Round it to two decimal places. Question 6. Look at the expression. Write it as simply as possible. Look at the expression. Write it as simply as possible. Question 7. To the nearest centimetre, the length of a shelf is 58 centimetres. What is the smallest value the length of the shelf could be? To the nearest centimetre, the length of a shelf is 58 centimetres. What is the smallest value the length of the shelf could be? For the next group of questions, 
you will have ten seconds to work out each answer and write it down. Question 8. Look at the equation. What is the value of x? Look at the equation. What is the value of x? Question 9. I started a train journey at 3.20 p.m. The journey lasted for 45 minutes. At what time did I arrive? I started a train journey at 3.20 p.m. The journey lasted for 45 minutes. At what time did I arrive? Question 10. Some pupils were asked how they had travelled to school that day. The pie chart shows the results. Which form of transport is the mode? Some pupils were asked how they had travelled to school that day. The pie chart shows the results. Which form of transport is the mode? Question 11. What is 50% of 110 pounds? What is 50% of 110 pounds? Question 12. Write down a multiple of 4 that is greater than 1,000. Write down a multiple of 4 that is greater than 1,000. Question 13. Draw an arrow on the scale. To show 2.2 kilograms. Draw an arrow on the scale to show 2.2 kilograms. Question 14. A football team won 55% of their games and lost 30%. The rest ended in a draw. What percentage of their games ended in a draw? A football team won 55% of their games and lost 30%. The rest ended in a draw. What percentage of their games ended in a draw? Now turn over your answer sheet. Question 15. On my desk, I have three blue pens, one red pen, and four black pens. I am going to pick up one of the pens at random. What is the probability that I will pick up a black pen? On my desk, I have three blue pens, one red pen, and four black pens. I am going to pick up one of the pens at random. What is the probability that I will pick up a black pen? Question 16. A rectangular football pitch is 65 metres by 100 metres. A footballer runs once around the perimeter of the pitch. 
How far does he run? A rectangular football pitch is 65 meters by 100 meters. A footballer runs once around the perimeter of the pitch. How far does he run? Question 17. Write down a prime number between 10 and 20. Write down a prime number between 10 and 20. Question 18. Look at the expression. When m is 8, what is the value of the expression? Look at the expression. When m is 8, what is the value of the expression? Question 19. There are 90 seats in a train carriage. How many seats are there in 12 of these carriages? There are 90 seats in a train carriage. How many seats are there in 12 of these carriages? Question 20. Your answer sheet shows a diagram of a 3D shape. What is the mathematical name of this shape? Your answer sheet shows a diagram of a 3D shape. What is the mathematical name of this shape? Question 21. Twelve people in a group are left-handed. Twenty percent of the group are left-handed. How many people are in the group? Twelve people in a group are left-handed. Twenty percent of the group are left-handed. How many people are in the group? Question 22. A bird flies at an average speed of 36 kilometers per hour. At this speed, how far would it fly in 10 minutes? A bird flies at an average speed of 36 kilometers per hour. At this speed, how far would it fly in 10 minutes? Question 23. Look at the equation. What is the value of y when x equals 3? Look at the equation. What is the value of y when x equals 3? Question 24. What is the square root of one ninth? What is the square root of one ninth? For the next group of questions, you will have 15 seconds to work out each answer and write it down. Question 25. I eat one half of a pizza. My friend eats one third of the pizza. What fraction of the pizza is left? 
I eat one half of a pizza. My friend eats one third of the pizza. What fraction of the pizza is left? Question twenty six. Look at the regular decagon. The exterior angle marked A is thirty six degrees. What is the size of an interior angle? Look at the regular decagon. The exterior angle marked A is thirty six degrees. What is the size of an interior angle? Question twenty seven. I can make a three digit number using the digits one, two, and three. In six different ways, how many of these three-digit numbers are even? I can make a three-digit number using the digits one, two, and three in six different ways. How many of these three-digit numbers are even? Question twenty eight. The mean of three numbers is ten. Two of the numbers are eight. What is the third number? The mean of three numbers is ten. Two of the numbers are eight. What is the third number? Question twenty nine. The diagram shows three lines meeting at a point. Work out the value of k. The diagram shows three lines meeting at a point. Work out the value of k. Question thirty. Write down the three consecutive whole numbers that add up to forty-five. Write down the three consecutive whole numbers that add up to forty-five. Put your pens down. The test is finished.